I want to switch over to the social networking side of things because that is in some sense um, part of the problem that we're grappling with today and many of the themes uh, that you'll be dealing with. Um, I think that uh, we can see that social networks produce a kind of amplification. Uh, there is a couple bubble reinforcement effect. Uh, sometimes uh, this is called um, a re a bias, a reinforcement uh, bias, where you take a piece of information that matches your view of things, and by seeing it repeated in a social networking environment, it reinforces your belief that that's, uh, that's the correct thing and anything else is not. So we have this bubble effect, which is starting to show up uh, in the internet. And it, it's funny in a way, because on the surface, it looked like it would be a helpful thing to steer you in the direction of things you care about and are interested in. But the trouble is that it creates this uh, 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 amplification and reinforcement effect, which isolates people from uh, information that would have perhaps persuaded them 